Welcome back guys, Brad here from Piney Grove. And in today's video, we're gonna try to clean up the front of this property. And it's a beautiful October day here in sunny Florida. We're gonna hit probably 80 some degrees today. We just came out of a cold snap where we were unseasonably cold. We had a one month early frost. I came out here this morning to take advantage of the cool mornings. They're not as cool as they were just last week, but I'm getting a late start, but I'm still gonna tackle this job anyway. So what we're gonna do today is in this area right here behind me, it's the front entrance to our property. So obviously we have a right and left side of the road. This will be the right side of our road. And I've cleaned this out before. And in our, actually in our very, very first video, episode one, you'll see Miss Piney Grove, AKA Deb, walk in there where it's really thick. And she's uh, doing some swim motions or whatever she does, some odd gestures. And uh, you can see how thick it was there. I've cleaned that out last winter quite a bit, but I still can't get the brush hog in between the trees. And a lot of these trees are really small and they're never gonna amount to anything. I'll show you the canopy here in a second, but the bigger trees are shading them out and they're always, these little trees are always gonna be small. And also I have a cedar tree here in the front I wanna take out and I really like cedar trees and I want them to grow and I actually kind of clean up around them around the property so that they'll get big. I just like cedar trees. They're good habitat for birds. Eventually they become, you know, nice pieces of wood that you can mill into something. But I've got one right here in the front entrance that's kind of blocking an oak tree and I want that oak tree to flourish. So that's what we're going to do today. We're going to take down some trees, try and clean this area up a bit. I changed it to my Florida suit, just something a little bit more comfortable to work in in this heat and humidity. But uh, the tools we're gonna be using is a steel MS-241C chainsaw with an 18 inch bar. Should be pretty sharp. I don't think I've used it since I've sharpened it. And also got a steel FS-55 string trimmer with a brush cutter blade on it. So we're not sponsored by steel, but we're impressed by their products. And one way you can help out our channel is to click that like button and also subscribe and share with your friends and maybe steel will start to notice us. I'm no safety freak, but I do believe in protecting yourself. So when I'm chainsawing, I'm always gonna use gloves. I'm always gonna use some sort of eye protection and hearing protection. And I will link these things below to our Amazon store. It doesn't cost you any more to buy from our, through our links. And in fact, you don't even have to buy the things that we link. You can just use the link to get to Amazon and buy what you want. But uh, I'm gonna cut down these little trees right here. I'm not gonna spend a lot of time with notching or anything like that. I can push them over by hand. All I wanna do is get them on the ground where I can chop them up into little pieces so they'll start to rot. One tree was hung up by a vine, so I couldn't get it to fall. So I grabbed the trunk and pulled it the other way. That was 100% unplanned. That tree was supposed to fall that way. But as it started leaning, I couldn't hold the tree and cut it at the same time. So every time I'd push it, it would fall back on the cut. So when I was able to get the chainsaw going again, well, you saw what happened. It flipped this way. But the good thing about it is, is that down at our dock at our house that we're gonna sell to move to Piney Grove, we have an old tree that we screwed to a post after the hurricane because there's no trees left around our house back home. And uh, the dove like to sit in that when they're gonna use the feeder around our dock. Well, that is an old magnolia tree and it's very rotten and it's losing its branches. And I think this is gonna be a perfect replacement for that old magnolia. So you will see this tree again in another video.
right, I got that front end cleaned up a little bit where I knocked down that cedar tree. And I also cleaned up a little bit of gravel that washed out from our last bad rainstorm. It's been a dry fall, but we did have several inches a few months back and I just now got around to pulling that gravel back out of the grass into the driveway. Then I started spreading it and that's a rabbit hole. I had to quit because I could spend all day doing that and never get it the way I, exactly the way I want it. But uh, let's get back over here to this corner, clean up the rest of these pine trees, and then we can call this job done. I've already thrown most of the tops of the pine trees in a brush pile there, and I'll let that rot down and then put my brush hog over top of it. It's all soft wood, it's pine, so it won't hurt my brush hog. I did take any oak branches and put them on the pile. But these bigger trunks, I think I'm gonna put on the pile as well, at least as many as will fit in one bucket. I don't know if I have enough energy to do two buckets. I cut them all so they were short enough to fit in a bucket. Apparently my math was off. In the Air Force, they'd say I'd need recalibration. All right, guys, that's going to do it for today's video. I got done what I wanted to get done, this little corner here. And I'll leave you with some after shots. I'll do a a quick panoramic before I leave, but I'm going to load this last load of logs here and go dump them, and then I'm going to head up to the mega shed and get some lunch. But hopefully you enjoyed today's video. If you did, please give us a big thumbs up. Comment down below. We'd love to hear from you. But until next time, remember, life's short, tractor hard. Mm -hmm.